You may see these signs in several areas across the state as candidates campaign for the upcoming election. But what you may not know is these signs are actually illegal in some areas and cost taxpayer dollars to clean up. So as far as the state's concerned, and in state law, uh, in Title 69, it specifies that highway rights of way, um, you know, are off limits for putting temporary signs. Campaign signs filling city streets, but the Department of Transportation says it's illegal to put signs on the sides of highways and interstates, including medians. This includes campaign signs and even things like yard sale signs or advertisements. The nuisance is, is far more than just an eyesore. Um, it actually is a, a hazard and uh, an issue when we're doing maintenance. Saying crews have to remove those signs, taking time away from essential work like patching potholes and fixing highways. In rural areas and outside of city limits, it's ODOT crews that are tasked with removing those. And again, that's uh, keeping them away from other more productive and more urgent types of work. And giving a reminder, it costs taxpayer dollars for crews to remove signs that end up in the trash. We're not always able to get out and keep up with just the amount of traffic of, of signs that get put up. We're not able to really do anything other than pull the signs out and uh, throw them away or try to store them somewhere and, and get rid of them.